Hi, my lovelies. It's time for another reaction video. And this is one I've been wanting to react to for quite a while. Leah Salonga is one of my favorite musical theater singers. And today I'm gonna react to her singing Let It Go from Frozen. So let's dive in. Oh, but before we do this, this is gonna be an analysis also. This is for singers and I'm just gonna comment a little bit. I'm gonna stop it, okay? All right, let's get going. You know what I really love about her? She is trained in musical theater. She has impeccable diction. So isolation, it's not isolation, isolation. And it looks like I'm the queen. You can understand every single letter she's singing, which really also helps resonance. And you know, this is a hard pitch. It's quite low. Heaven knows I've tried to have this nice and centered. And she still gets this beautiful, very even vibrato, which is really an expression for a really good placement. Nice straight. Now vibrato, straight, okay. See how at first she didn't have high intensity because it's lower. Snow glows white on the mountains tonight. It's very centered, not pushy, not a lot of the brassiness or anything like that, not pushing the ping, not pushing ping. Now. She's transitioning into this higher, if you want to call it a chorus part. And now she's really opening. Let it go. Nice and open. It's not pressed. It's nice and centered. I just love her sound. Let it go. Let it go. Turn away and slam the door. I don't care. See how that phrasing, that phrasing makes all the difference. I don't care. So it's not, I don't care, but it's, I don't care. Really, the phrasing helps the phrase flow along and it helps your vocal cords because it's not always that same intensity level. There's motion, there's dynamics. And see, although she is really attacking that top one, it's not a harsh glottal attack. It's not, I don't care what they're going, going. She's not attacking it in a very rough way. I don't care, very supported. What they're going to say. Nice and centered, always supported. And you can see she's not letting go of her lift here in this area. She's always keeping the sternum up and always working from the core. And you can see how centered she is. You can also hear it. She takes good breaths. She has expansion around her ribs, but she's very centered and calm. It's not <gasps> And by the way, you need to do this when you do musical theater and you actually have a scene to play. It's so important to really detach your body or not detach, but I'm just saying to not have to do a certain motion in order to sing a certain pitch, but you want to be able to sing anything and everything in any position, as long as you're keeping your torso straight and you stay in the line here, which is important for support. And of course you can see she's trained so well at doing this. See, I, I actually like the original, but it's just, this is a matter of interpretation. She does, on the low pitch, she does vibrato, but this is just a stylistic thing. I would, cold never bothered me anyway. I would just kind of like this. It's funny how
like it. See, she's using th this very little intentional can get to me at all, at all. Oh, it's really nice. I like using it too. I just don't know why. It really relaxes the voice and it also is a stylistic thing. Can get to me at all. Nice. And you can tell she's so well trained in musical theater because she sings it like that. Slightly different vibrato like maybe in the original like Idina Menzel would do. She's also a musical theater singer but Leah, she's singing it in a very classical musical theater style. Nice phrasing. See, she's making the E nice and bright. She's not spreading, but she's making it bright. No rules for me. It's not me or me. She is making it bright, but keeping the resonance by having the pharynx open. No rules for me, for me, for me. You don't want to spread too far, but she, she's just brightening that E. Since in her voice, that's where the best resonance lies. I just love how she let it go. It's relaxed jaw, nice and open space. It's not let it go, let it go. It's, it always looks relaxed. Nice. You know, it's actually kind of hard to come from the bottom to the middle pitch. Here I stand and here I stay. She's actually really staying majorly in heavy mechanism and she's really good at that. It's really hard that those intervals, but she's doing a good job and you can really only do this. Let's go back just a little bit here. here so can you hear, here I, she could have maybe placed the eye slightly less pingy because right now it kind of sticks out a bit. It still sounds really great, but you know, it's just, it's live. It's all sung live. This is amazing for being sung live. I, See the eye just kind of sticks. Same here, but. And you can see how she always works so much for good enunciation and openness. You can understand every letter. And now definitely beginning to mix because it's just crazy high. The past is in the past. Let it go. Let it go. Can't sing that sitting down really. <laughs> I just love how centered she is. I love. And I rise like the break, break. It's a voice sound, break, right? It's not rise like the break of dawn. Like a rise, and I rise like the break of dawn. Really, in musical theater, it really helps to enunciate and to also communicate urgency. Oh, she cracked just a little bit. It's so hard that the attack of here, huh, huh, huh. it's actually a glottal push here. Like it's like really, huh, right? So there is a fine line between having too much huh, air coming out and not having enough by just making it. Uh, you don't want to have either one in an extreme. So here I stand. It's easy to be too much here. And then the, the glottis just comes, the vocal cords basically just boof, clash together. And then that's the moment where there's just a slight moment of not having 
dead on control. It can happen so easily. And especially when you're performing live, you're always wanting to express even more because you're connecting with the audience and you're in the role, you're in the song, you're really telling the story. Let's go back just to... Crack just a little bit. She's approaching it a little bit more heavily on the top than Idina Menzel is. She's mixing more. Leah here, she is being more heavy. And... It is hard. She is really good at it, but it's also dangerous. It's like a fine line, you know, when you make it really heavy on the top, having a very written or prevalent, you know, no tilt, not balancing out as much to, you know, to really balance the sound into more of a head mix. It becomes really heavy and it can break or you can just push just a little bit too much for a split second. And then you have this... Uh, moment which you know she's one of the most amazing singers in this world i want to underline that and even the most amazing singer in the world they're human beings okay now the last one hi you know that high the let the storm rage on. She mixed a bit more here. It lightened up just, it thinned out just a bit. Because otherwise, when you have this heavy long, it, it's not really working. It's really bad for the voice. Like, let the storm rage on. I was just like, it's way heavy. So it's better just to let the storm rage on. Just a little bit more mixing and a little bit more balancing out. Awesome. <laughs> And then, you know, the, the hardest transition is from that high to the low. On, and then, the cold never bothered me anyway. Which you have to be really careful that you don't get too dark. My tendency used to be really to sing that high pitch and then, the cold never bothered me anyway. Oh, and then you're like pushing your larynx. So really relaxing the throat again after having this high pitch, which when you're singing these really high pitches, the larynx does lower naturally just a bit to create more space, and you need that. And then to come back to that, on the cold never bothered me anyway, to have that relaxed sound. And in my voice, that lies like extremely low. I'm a big fan of Leah Salongas, and I loved it so much. I hope you loved it too. If you did love my video and also her performance, Give me a thumbs up or give me two thumbs up, which is impossible. One for her, one for me. <laughs> and leave me a comment whether you love her so much also as a musical theater singer, not just here in this. Thank you so much for watching. My training, how to 10X your progress. You can sign up for it and it's a live training. It's live and it's free. I will put the link below and as a matter of fact, also right here in the card up here. It's only for those who have registered and if you would like to connect with me and another small group of people probably who will be there, it'd be awesome to have you to discuss how to 10x your progress. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon and always keep on singing. Let the sky fall.